guys, I don't even know if this video is going to make the light of day or anything like that. I don't know if I'll be putting this up, but if you see it, this might be the one and only video of its kind. Some of you guys asked me to do like daily vlogging and chit chats and stuff, so I figured I'm going to try and take you guys along with me. I just do really regular shit, I'm not going to lie, like my life is not that interesting as it may seem, so I always thought like vlogging would be pretty redundant, but you guys asked for it, so I'm about to deliver. If you like this style of video at the end, just leave me a comment or a thumbs up. Let me know somehow and I will keep doing them. Otherwise, hey, we try something new and this will be the last video of its kind. Okay, first things first, if I'm literally gonna keep doing this, I need to get that camera mount thing because I have this on my dashboard right now and this is a fail, but it's 1.36 and I'm actually on my way to the hairdressers right now. Actually, I'm going to the bank first. I'm getting about 10,000 pounds, this whole bag of weave sewn back into my head. drive through ATMs are the best thing that ever happened to man. So we watched Miss America pageant last night. I am a huge new convert to Miss America. It was so, oh shit, I didn't get envelopes. I never watched Miss America before, but we PVR'd it when it was on last week, and it was so, so freaking good. Oh, love the talent portion. Like one girl did baton twirling. I don't even have heard about baton twirling from Miss Congeniality but she was so good at it it was so difficult she was like throwing them up in the air she was catching them like behind her back doing splits and catching them i was like damn that's a talent this is my bag of hair that's about to be sewn back onto my head and then i bought lunch i bought these snacks from love with food i bought some popcorn i made egg salad i have apples Hey guys, so random chat of the day, car chat I guess. I wanted to talk to you guys because I got was talking to my friends the other day about people liking you and like how they ask me how I deal on YouTube. Asshole. Honestly, when people don't let you go and it's the red line, it's like a problem. Oh, I can definitely can't see. I'm not someone that feels like everyone has to like me. Like it's cool if you don't like me. There are so many people in this world. I can't be everyone's cup of tea. So I'm someone who it's like, it really doesn't bother me when I get hateful comments or anything like that. Cause I literally am like, this person doesn't know me from a hole in the wall. Why the fuck would I care? I wasn't always confident. I'm not gonna lie. When I was younger, even when I started YouTube, I wasn't that confident. I'm still not the most confident person, don't get me wrong, but I'm good at faking it. You gotta fake it till you make it. If I go into a new situation and I'm feeling hella unconfident, what do I do? I fake it till I make it. I put on a brave face and I literally just pretend that I'm confident. And then eventually you're not acting anymore because you just get comfortable, you get used to it, and that's just how you are. It's like, why would you? Everyone's driving like dumbasses today. Hey guys, so I just went downtown. I'm downtown right now. I got a waxing appointment. I wanted to film it there, but it was running kind of late. So I'm just walking back to my car. It is hot as balls out today randomly. There is currently so much construction going on downtown, so I have to park really far. But I want to go to the mall. I want to grab some lunch. I want to also try on Adidas Superstars because I've seen some online that I want to buy and everyone says you have to size down. But I think everyone should get a Brazilian wax. Trust me, do it, try it. It's sugaring and it really works super well. It does not hurt as bad as people say. They hear all these horror stories, but I have never had one. It's like the least painful method for me. back to my car well let me tell you guys what happened if you follow me on snap you already have heard this story i'm walking back to my car because you know a girl's not trying to get a ticket for a parking for too long and some guy i'm running I, all i hear behind me is beautiful day man beautiful day so i keep walking so then he says it again he runs around to talk to me from the front i say thank you he says you're looking nice today i say thank you I, and then do you know what he says to me when i said no you can't have my number oh i have a wife anyway so I appreciate the hustle because I know you gotta approach women some way, but damn, guys have no chill these days. Like they have no finesse. I only went to Sephora and they did have the hourglass. Actually, the reason I wanted to go in store is because I was so not sure of the color match. I was thought I was gonna be like 
amber or honey in the foundation but when I swatched those those were pretty dark so anyway she ended up matching me in the color beige let's look I'm worried it's gonna be too light when I put it on my face because I feel like my face is a little darker oh no the color looks pretty decent. like I don't know if you guys can tell on camera it looks like a warm color so I'm gonna give it a go on my face and see how we feel I totally didn't think I would be this light I just have to go back and like change it for a different color if it doesn't work out girl's been out for way too long this is like home body status when you've been out for way too long I'm gonna go home make some food oh so many people and edit a video I have so many videos about four videos that I have not edited I just am in like a really big filming mood but then I'm like girlfriend you gotta edit too this I am super excited for as well. I just ordered um, a two-piece set. It just came in the mail from Hot Miami Style. It's a two-piece set. It's like this halter top here and then there's a high-waisted pencil skirt but it's sheer lace with like the nude panty underneath. Super, super cute. So I'm currently just editing right now. I told you guys I have so many videos to film. I'm starting with this one. This is just a grocery store shop with me. I edit using Final Cut Pro for anyone who's interested, but I do it on my MacBook and I really need to get like an actual Apple Mac computer. I know earlier this week I was vlogging about people um, like not needing people to like me. So something actually ended up happening to me over the past few days, which I thought was like such a coincidence. I posted a picture on Instagram a few days ago. This picture right here. So many people People had so many opinions on this picture like first of all everyone thought I had a camel toe that was a shadow between my legs but do you really think that if I had a camel toe that with all the editing software that's available to me now like we have facetune we have god knows what I could have edited that shit out if I wanted to like come on let's be real second of all people were telling me to delete the picture that it wasn't flattering I think women need to not support other women but women should be careful in the way that they talk to other women everyone likes to use that word constructive criticism and sometimes you can mask like negative negativity or mean things as constructive criticism i'm a strong ass bitch it doesn't bother me you can say what you want you can tell me to delete the picture because when you tell me that i'm like a brat and i'm like that's gonna make me keep up the picture and post another one i'm not gonna delete it yeah i would never leave a comment on someone's stuff on social media on instagram or youtube if i don't like it i have the option just to scroll past or not watch it words hurt and to that person who is insecure who is not as strong and thick skin that could really hurt them and end up i don't know like you never know what could happen like the things hurt people differently so i just just think we can do better thank you so much to all the women who were so freaking supportive like there were so many of you who were so supportive and loving so yeah now i'm off to pick up my sister she went to a leadership camp so she's been away for a few days so i'm on my way to get her she just got back from school okay i know my seatbelt's off it's okay you don't have to help me i'm actually getting ready to go home and film that's why i don't have any lip color on because i did all my makeup and she called me and i was like shit so i'm going home to film right after i get her you guys this is the aftermath of me filming a video this new lip color is the bomb though it is the blinking beauty liquid lipstick in the shade model these they actually make my favorite eyelashes the eyelashes i'm wearing today are by them these are a new pair not my favorites but they make the best mink eyelashes and she just recently came out with a bunch of liquid lipsticks and they are really really good they don't give butthole lip they don't feel like anything's on my lips. They're not drying either. They just are really, really nice. And I got a package from DHL finally, weeks later. Never shipped DHL. I know what it is, but DHL really played me, you guys. I paid like 30 bucks for the shipping. It is a package from Jouer. I ordered some of their new full stuff. Ugh, let's pray this highlighter isn't broken because I've seen so many people's highlighters have been broken. Moment of truth. I see bubble wrap, so like that's pretty promising. You guys, I could cry. I've waited so long for this and it is totally unusable. Like this was supposed to be citrine highlighter and it's completely like dust. I gotta move on because it's first world problems. I got three of the four Focus Matte Lip Cream. So these are still drying down, but these are freaking beautiful as I knew they would be. So the one on the bottom reminds me of Dose of Colors Truffle a lot and that is like one of my all time faves. So real talk, I haven't been to the gym in a few months. I just got busy. You guys know how it is. I mean, this happens to everyone at least once or twice in their life. And so I noticed that I am not in the best shape that I could be. Like I haven't put on weight or anything. All my clothes still fit, but I just know. Like when you're used to yourself looking a certain way, you just know. So instead of bitching and complaining about it, I'm gonna take my own advice that I always give you guys and I'm getting myself back in the gym ASAP. Today is Friday, September 30th. So in a month even, I should be looking closer because I know I haven't lost all the muscle that I gained, but I'm excited. I feel pumped. I made a new playlist. So I'm excited to go 
hard to that so today i'm gonna do legs it was between legs and back and bicep but i said no amy you're gonna go hard or you're gonna go home so i'm gonna do legs but i feel well no tomorrow i'm gonna be in the most pain like i'm not gonna be able to walk okay so yeah i'm gonna go in now no point just waiting here i procrastinated long enough let's do this picking but there were no apples on the tree so I guess we have to buy a bag but we did get donuts and we got an apple pie 